Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quickly how to import the digital planner onto your iPad to use in your favorite digital planning apps. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my top choice, which is GoodNotes 5. I think that this app has the best kind of user experience and features, and it's just really, really nice. So you, first of all, you wanna make sure that you have GoodNotes installed. You can get it in the App Store, and you wanna make sure you have the latest version. So GoodNotes 5 is the re most recent release, and it interacts the best with these interactive planners. So I would really suggest that you make sure that you have upgraded. And you can tell if your app is updated to GoodNotes 5 by this little squiggle line in the icon. So if this fourth line here is straight, it means that you're using GoodNotes 4 or an older version. If it's squiggly, it means that you are good to go, you have GoodNotes 5. So go ahead and check that. If it's not updated, go ahead and do the upgrade now. And so what we wanna do to get started is actually use Safari, which is this little icon that might be somewhere on your desktop or down here in your tray, but it looks like a little compass. So we wanna go ahead and open that up and all we're gonna do is go to etsy.com and log into our Etsy account. Once you're logged into your account, you should see your little icon or picture up here, and it should say you. If you tap on that, you'll see a list of menu items and you'll see an option for purchases and reviews. So if you've already made your purchase from my shop for the digital planner, you can go ahead and click on purchases and reviews. And then here you'll see a list of things that you've purchased. As long as your payment has gone through, you'll see download files over here on the right. If you're using a credit card or PayPal, this should happen almost automatically. Sometimes it can take a couple of minutes for the payment to process. So if it's not there, just wait, hit refresh, and then it should show up in a few minutes. So you can go ahead and hit download files. And what it's gonna do now is open up a receipt that has a longer message from me with some additional information and troubleshooting help. And then down at the bottom here, you should see two different file options. The only difference between these two is that one has calendars that start on Monday and one has calendars that start on Sunday. In the US, we typically use the Sunday start calendar and most of the rest of the world uses the Monday start. Now, all you need to do is download one of these. You don't need to download both of them. So go ahead and pick whichever one is gonna work the best for you, and then just hit the download button to the right of it. So I'm downloading the Sunday Start, and you'll see the progress bar up here in Safari. All it's doing is downloading that PDF file. So now you've seen that it's downloaded the planner and opened it up actually in your Safari browser, which is awesome, except you can't really do much with it because you can't be interactive and write on it and all of that. So what we wanna do is export it into a digital planning app like GoodNotes. And to do that, we just click on this export button in the top right corner, it has a little arrow sticking out of it. And once you do that, it'll open up this share sheet. And the share sheet will detect that you are looking at a PDF file and will show you all of the different programs on your device that are compatible with that file type. So you should see GoodNotes there automatically as long as you have the app already installed on your iPad. So go ahead and hit copy to GoodNotes. And then it should automatically start the GoodNotes app for you. And it's gonna ask you where you want to import it. So on this page, all you wanna do is ensure that underneath here where it says import from, um, it's gonna say files import to, and then it should say documents. That means that it's importing this as a brand new document and not importing this 300 and some page PDF and tacking it on to any of your existing files. So you wanna make sure that it says import to documents. If it doesn't, go ahead and click down here on change location and then scroll to the top of your list and just make sure that documents is selected. And then go ahead and import. Again, you're gonna have a little progress bar. It should be pretty quick. And once that loads, you should see the planner listed here among your different documents. And you can go ahead and rename it just by clicking over here, clicking on this black text and renaming it whatever you want. You can go ahead and save that. And then to open it, all you need to do is click on it and it'll open it up automatically. And you can go ahead and write as you see. Um, the only thing I'm gonna show you here really quickly is just the biggest thing to know with navigating GoodNotes. I have some other tutorials on how to do all kinds of different tips and tricks and improve your handwriting and all of that. So go ahead and watch those if that interests you. But the biggest thing to know is that GoodNotes basically has two navigation modes, or two modes. One is navigation and one is editing. So this little pencil icon in the top right tells you which mode you're in. When the pencil is crossed out, that actually is when you can write in the planner. 
And when the pencil is not crossed out, that is actually when the links are active and that's when you can navigate around the planner. So you can click on the top things to navigate through the months and then you can click on any of the pages to go to the daily page layout for that day and you can click back and you can also swipe side to side to go to the different months or once you're within the daily pages you can swipe left and right to go to the previous day or the next day. So that's pretty much it. Go ahead and check out my other tutorials if you want some additional tips for using the GoodNotes app, but hopefully that was pretty straightforward and simple. I don't think it gets much easier than that. Um, another option if you are having any trouble with the web browser is to download the file on a computer and just email it to yourself and then open up that email on your iPad. And additionally, if you purchase through Etsy without creating an account, so you signed up as a guest and you can't log into an Etsy account, of course, you're gonna need to locate the email that you received from Etsy with your purchase receipt and download the files there and then follow the same steps with the web browser. Hope this was helpful. <laughs>